Hello everyone! So about a week ago, I went river tubing, and it was really fun. But the thing I enjoy most about tubing is finding trash in the river. I enjoy finding trash and other things that people dump in the river just because, well, one, it's free stuff, and two, you're cleaning out the river. This time, the river was very generous in giving me an iPhone 6S, space gray with gray antenna lines, and a black glass front. As you can tell by these photos, it's definitely waterlogged. I think the only way you could get this thing to work is if you did a huge Jeffries and replaced every single part inside it. I even spent five minutes trying to get the SIM card out of this thing, and even the SIM card had gunk all over it, and there was no way I could get that thing to work ever again. So, sadly, we can't return this one to the owner. Whoever you are, I'm sincerely sorry, and I hope you got a new phone. So, on Discord, I asked some friends to comment some suggestions to use to smash this. And I got a good few. I also asked my Discord server, which I'll leave in the description, but I only got like one suggestion, so eh. I'd give you guys an unboxing experience, but I kind of found it in a river, so this is the best I can do. Ah. Ooh. What the hell? Anyway, let's go over to the first suggestion. First up, as suggested by It's Sparkified, link to their Twitch is in the description, I should do a drop test with it. First up, back facing drop. Next up, corner facing drop. And finally, a front facing drop. Oh man. Look at that. It shattered on that front facing drop. So yeah, the back facing drop did pretty much nothing. The side facing drop maybe made a couple dents, but the front facing drop? Oh man, it really shattered that. Next, a suggestion from Ginger She Devil. Don't ask about that name. Again, link to her Twitch is in the description. And her suggestion is dropping it from really high. Is this high enough? Yeet. Oh. That sounded bad. Okay, that sounded terrible. Oh, I don't want to lift it back up. I can see the camera cl cracked a little bit more. Oh. It just lost a few pieces of glass. That's pretty much it. Next suggestion. Our next suggestion, also by Ginger She Devil, is to put the phone in jello. One, I only have like six year old gelatin, and two, I have no idea how to use gelatin, so time lapse. Okay, with a lot of trial and error, I managed to put the jello in the fridge. <laughs> ha ha. 124, because plain rock 124, because I'm a plain rock 124 ripoff. Well, it turns out I fed up. Because, um, I didn't add a cup of cold water before putting it in the fridge to chill. The Best Buy date is also September 2008, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's just a little bit of jello on the bottom with the, the phone. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Next suggestion. Next, a suggestion from Mouster. I'll leave his YouTube link in the description. And Mouster's suggestion is to throw another phone at it. So, which phone are we going to be using? Well, whoop bam my old phone. The results. Well, the display comes off now. I want to pull out this home button. There we go, got the home button. Apple made a flip phone? What? Where's the screen on this thing? Ignore this hair, please. Oh my god, the sun is in my eyes. Next is a suggestion from NWR1353. He doesn't post to any social media, so there will be no promotion here. And he's suggesting to throw it out of a moving car. I can't throw it out of a moving car, so this is the best I can do. Gee, I sure love texting and driving on my very broken iPhone 6S. <laughs> 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 
Well, the display came off. The camera on the phone cracked a little more. The back is kind of swollen from the battery. This front piece came off where there was some glass there. And that little connector fell out. I'm gonna try to bend this thing. It's strong. Oh, actually, wait. I just barely bent it. Just a little bit, if it'll focus. Just a little bit bent. Let's see if we can bend it all the way. <sighs> yeah, this isn't happening. Eh. Oh, just smash that corner of the display. And let's just throw a jar at it, because why not? It's already broken, if you can see, so... I felt like it was a total waste if I just threw them out, though. So instead, I decided to have some fun with it. Hopefully no one heard that. It completely shattered everywhere. Looks like the phone is fine, though. <laughs> This bottom piece is still good. Now it's not. And now a suggestion from Lewis Gaming. I'll leave his Twitch link in the description. And his suggestion is to put the phone in water. Fine, I guess I'll return it to its natural habitat. Actually, let's just put it out of its misery. Try to hit the battery. I'm definitely hitting the battery. We see the insides now. I think the battery is so dead that it's not even gonna explode. Yeah, it's not even hot. Still not getting hot. It smells kind of like rubbing alcohol though. Oh well, I tried. Let's just remove the battery anyway. Can I even remove this thing? Gee guys, it's almost like I don't need a Hugh Jeffries tutorial. Oh, I just shredded the battery. <laughs> it's almost like I don't need a Hugh Jeffries tutorial. Get out of here, stupid thing. Oh. Next, another suggestion for an... I love cars. Next, another suggestion from NWR1353. This suggestion is to hit the phone with a baseball bat like a baseball. You may have remembered from a previous Andrew Destroys that I said this. I wish I had my baseball bat right now. Well, ugh, found it. Well, I broke this spot apart, and I also pulled the, got the glass off the camera. Okay, we're done. It's completely gone. Nothing left. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm gonna go edit this video now. I'll see you guys later. Ugh.